Hello everyone. Hey guys, today we're going to drive up to the north part of Claremont. We love the north part because why? Wow, there's hills up there. Rolling love hills. Love those hills, yeah. Love the hills, love the lakes, and yeah. there's so much to do. Um, we're going to start around Ridgeview and we're going to head all the way up north. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, who's still building? What's what's happening with the builders? Some have closed out, some mm -hmm. are still building, and some it's going to take you a while to get a home. Changes are happening daily, really. All the time. So we love to stay up with the builders to see what's happening. And what else are we going to share with them? Oh, we're going to show them a, another hidden gem. So you got to stay tuned for that. You know, we love Claremont. So we love to share some of the things that we like to do around here. So you don't want to miss that. That. And stay tuned, we'll be right back. Um, we're in what I would call the mid part of Claremont. Um, we always talk about the downtown, Waterfront Park, all the chain of lakes. So we're going to start in the middle right here. Uh, we have uh, recently done the south side, but this is in the area of Ridgeview. Uh, Ridgeview and the Olympus and all the uh, exciting things that are coming in. Uh, right across the street is Lake Louisa State Park. So today we're going to start our, our drive. We're in Ridgeview. We're going to show you what's happening over there. We're actually today talking about who's still building, what's happening in the community. So we're going to go north on uh, 27. We're going to head over to Hartwood Landing here. Now if you continue on Hartwood Mall, Marsh in this area that would take you right into Winter Garden. So after Hartwood Landing, we will travel up to Crestview. There's not a lot um, of homes left in that area, but this is Taylor Morrison. We'll be in Crestview heading up to 50. And then from there, we'll be going over to Johns Lake. We just recently did a uh, video on Johns Lake. And then we're going to head over to Waterbrook and then all the way up to the canyons. Okay, we're heading north on 27 and about to turn into Ridgeview. But again, right across the street, if you're not familiar with this area, is the Lake Louisa State Park, which has amazing amenities in there, so much for you to do. But as we drive in here, we just want to talk a little bit about um, the builders and what's happening in the communities. But right here in Ridgeview, we have two builders. We have Land C and Pulte. And right now, and I'm saying right now, they're offering, well, Pulte at least, is offering some amazing incentives. So you want to really reach out to us if this is uh, something you're considering on doing now. This community has no CDDs, and some of the incentives, while it still lasts, are on inventory homes, which you can get pretty quickly. And they're offering a rate buy-down, which is, you know, a big deal right now. I did want to mention that Lancy used to previously be Hanover, so Lancy did buy Hanover, and just in case you're not familiar with Lancy. But this area is in, uh, I would say, mid Claremont. You know, the access is going to be fantastic here. You'll have north to west, of course, with Highway 27, but there's going to be new east to west uh, venues put in, uh, you know, that'll make uh, getting over to Winter Garden to get over to the 429 and the uh, turnpike so much easier and cut your time, you know, in some instances, basically in half. Of course, you know, that east to west is also the direction to get you over to uh, Disney. So cutting down that time is huge for a lot of people. Another thing that makes this community so special is it's part of Olympus. Now, Olympus is a exciting new uh, you know, I guess we call it a city center that's being uh, developed. There's going to be restaurants. There's going to be more uh, builders coming in. And uh, Olympus is going to have a sports or a city campus in there that highlights sports. Uh, the plans are to have high levels or high venues for tennis, beach volleyball, track and field, ice skating, uh, and field sports and there's gonna be an Olympic type stadium built back in this area as well. So besides all the shopping, restaurants, uh, there's gonna be this exciting sports uh, 
venue that's going to be right there uh, for everybody to par participate in or uh, just go watch. And if you want to stay home and enjoy the community, this community offers a pool and cabana once it's built, which will probably be next year. And the HOA is as little as 75 a month, which is pretty awesome. Now straight ahead is Lake Louisa State Park. Now we've made a right out of Ridgeview heading north on Highway 27 and we're headed over to Harwood Landing where the builder is Dreamfinders. Now Dreamfinders is only doing spec homes and they've chosen some of their best or most popular designs uh, to put in this community. Now if we kept going straight on Hartwood Marsh and not turned into the community, you will go right into Winter Garden and you can get to all the shopping and the restaurants there. But turning in, we did notice that they have put up a privacy fence uh, blocking Hartwood Marsh. So that's kind of cool. That's a new thing. Yeah, this is a really pretty community. Um, I love their designs. Their HOA is 172 a month. They will have a pool and cabana and there's no CDD, which is amazing. But they just released a ton of spec homes. Now you're looking at some of them being completed by the end of the year and some well into next year. So depending when you need a home, they do have something probably for everyone. Okay, we're heading out of Hartwood Landing and we're gonna swing right over to Crestview. Our next community that we're going to in North Claremont is Crestview and Crestview is by Teller Morrison. Uh, this community rests in uh, hills and it's got some great Vista views. So it is a really desired place to live and you're really close to 50 so you are close to all the shopping uh, restaurants and uh, the turnpike and 429 all the things that you need to get over to other areas Crestview's low HOA is 86 per month that covers the pool the gate and you know the common areas playground things like that there is no cdd in this community so that hoa is really reasonable if you're looking to get into this community you need to do it quick they are in their final opportunities and um, i was just looking and they have a handful of spec homes coming out and the build will be finished toward the end of the year. So this is your time. Give us a call. Let us help you out with this opportunity. All right, now we're going to head over to John's Lake Landing. As we turn over 50 and we're heading to Johns Lake Landing, this is a really beautiful community. This community is established. It's been around for a while. So you're going to see a lot of resale in here. But David Weekly is still building. The community uh, is off of Johns Lake, which is nestled on a 2,400 acre uh, lake that you can fish, boat, and ski. You're close to everything. Um, there's no CDD, and their HOA is 350 semi annually. They do have a, uh, a great pool and cabana, but again, what I really love about this community is, is the, uh, as you're driving around, you're really going up to some great elevation and you're coming back down and you're seeing the views of the lake. So it's a really, really cool community. We just recently put out a video on this community, so check it out. I will link each 
video that I've done a full video on to each section of this, uh, this video so that you can check it out in more detail. But this is definitely a, um, a community that you want to look into. Location is great. It's close to all the shopping. It's close to Winter Garden. Um, and I, you just can't go wrong when you're over here. There's a great little area right turn off turn off of 50 going toward Waterbrook, but there's a new area coming in called the Shops of Waterbrook. Have no clue what's going in there, but that's kind of exciting. I can't wait to see what shops are coming in. But driving down, this is pretty impressive. It's a really long drive to even get to the gates to get into Waterbrook. This is a gated community. So um, right now gates are open just because they're still building in here. But in the evenings and on the weekends when they're not building, then the gates will be closed. There's also another entrance and exit that's not right off of 50. So if you don't want to deal with the uh, traffic or time of day, you do have another option here. So that's always a good thing. I really like this builder. I really like their style. They are a coastal craftsman or Florida traditional style. So you have some really nice layouts in here. Um, they are still building, but the community has been around for a while. So you could get a resale here or there. Um, they do, it's unique in the way that you do have uh, villas. So those are like your duplexes. You could get a town home or a single family home. Um, it's in a great area. It's uh, down 50 towards Winter Garden. So you're down a little bit further than the last one that we were talking about. And uh, just, they have a lot to offer over here. You know, I get excited when a community has an actual clubhouse because typically you don't see that unless you're in a 55 plus community. But here at Waterbrook, you get a clubhouse. You get for only $74 a month and no CDDs. Look at the amenities, it's incredible. You get a, a resort style pool, you get uh, indoor, outdoor space, um, you have a cabana, yoga lawn, a fitness center, um, a splash pad and tot lot and the pool is really cool because you're facing the lake so while you're at the pool you're looking at the lake. We're heading over to the canyons at Highland Ranch. Love this community. This has always been one of my favorite. Just driving over there, you can see the beautiful trees. They form canopies over the road. It's just a beautiful drive in. Now, if I would have been filming earlier on driving over here, you would see the beautiful rolling hills and the hills that we always talk about here in Claremont that's so unique to Florida. In Highland Ranch, there are two communities. There's the Esplanade, which is your 55 plus, which you keep going straight, or there's the canyons. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the canyons, Esplanade, beautiful Taylor Morrison uh, community. I always say that they're like sister communities, 155 plus and one just your regular family community. Uh, Esplanade is sold out. So the only thing over there would be resale. But today we're gonna talk about the canyons. I've always loved this community. It's very established. It's been around for a while. So your pool, your cabana, all the things that, all the amenities are already done. So ready for you to move in and enjoy Enjoy them. One of the unique things about this community is you're higher up, so you're more north than the other communities that we just talked about. So you really get to see some elevation and vista views, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Not to mention, Taylor Morrison really does it right when it comes to landscaping. I think they go all out. I think they have the prettiest landscaping in Highland than any other community that I've been in.
If you're new to our channel and you don't know much about Claremont, Claremont is one of the fastest growing cities in Central Florida. There's a lot of cool things coming in, Wellness Way, Olympus, that is going to be a total game changer, not to mention all the new things coming into the historic downtown. And on top of that, if that's not enough, Travel and Leisure uh, voted Claremont as being one of the top 15 lake towns across America. So uh, that's pretty special out here. It tells you how special Claremont, Florida is. One of the things that people just absolutely love about Claremont is access to trails and paths that you can go biking, jogging, um, just walking, and with especially with the elevation, well, right here in this area, you have access to the South Lake Trail. It's a scenic seven mile paved system with spectacular panoramic views of, of hills and, and lakes. So even you can see the Orlando skyline. So this is an amazing community. In here, you're looking at resale and new construction. New construction's finishing up. There's not a lot left uh, to build. However, they just released a bunch of spec homes ranging from 1,700 square feet to 4,100 square feet. So you can get some really big homes in here. Um, I'd say the, the smaller homes around 1,700, you're looking at mid 500s. And of course, the larger ones, you're over 800,000. Now in here, uh, the HOA is 105 a month and there's no CDD. So I'm gonna show you some of the amenities that is just beautiful. The amenities in the canyons is just a piece of paradise. You feel like you're on vacation year round and that's what it's all about when you live here in Florida. Beautiful resort pool, a playground with a pirate ship and swings. Just the walkway alone going through the amenities is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. There is something for everyone in here. Um, there's some green space and check out the really fun splash pad for the kids. I mean, I really feel like I'm at Disney when I see all these amenities. Not to mention Disney's not that far. You are so close to the turnpike that you can jump over to Orlando or Disney. And of course, for your four-legged family members, there are two dog parks here. And I'm, when I say breathtaking views, just sitting up here watching your dogs play, you will so enjoy it. As we head out of this community, and if there's any of the communities that we've talked about that you want more information on, just reach out to us because there's some great deals right now with the new construction, some incentives, they won't last. Um, and, you know, there's resale also in a lot of these communities that, you know, we can help you find. <laughs>I really like West Beach Park. If you were looking for something a little more quaint, this is around the side of the Lake Mineola. Uh, it's great for kids. You're fenced in, you're on the lake. They have a lot of seating areas, picnic benches. Um, and then on the outside of the gates, you have a really wide walking path and uh, you can go biking and running and jogging and you're always finding someone out there. But what I love is if we have family members that we bring to the park, we can sit there, relax and watch boating on the lake and there's a fishing pier on the other side of the the gate you can there's always someone in the water always playing in the water and uh, there's another uh, swing set on the outside thank you for joining us on our tour today we love showing you around and talking about our area here in florida if you're thinking about relocating to our area call text or email us we would love to have a con phone conversation with you tell you about the different communities and see what's the right fit for you. So reach out, download our free relocation guide and stay tuned because we have more videos coming your way. And we really do appreciate you watching our videos. So thank you again. And we'll see you soon.